A newfound population of stars in nearby dwarf galaxies represents the long sought progenitors of a specific type of stellar death or supernova, according to a new research. Theories have shown that for every three massive stars, one is stripped of its outer hydrogen layers across hundreds or even thousands of years, such that it's scorching hot helium core, about 10 times hotter than the sun's surface, gets exposed. So, when these stars die in explosive supernovas, they have behind hydrogen poor environments different from other types of supernova events. Despite their theorized abundance, they were not observed until now. Study co author Yolova Gutenberg of the Institute of Science and Technology, Austria, said in a statement This was such a big, glaring hole. Study co author Maria Drott of the University of Toronto said in a different statement If it turned out that these stars are rare, then our whole theoretical framework for all those different phenomena is wrong. With implications for supernovas, gravitational waves, and the light from distant galaxies. Now, Drott and her colleagues have spotted 25 stars that appear to be stripped of their hydrogen envelopes in the large and small magnetic clouds, yeah, two of the Milky Way's closer galactic uh, neighbors. Many of the stars, which are about 2 to 8 times more massive than our Sun, are gravitationally bound to another star and form what's known as binary systems. This Companion stars were likely responsible for removing hydrogen envelopes of the detected stars, scientists say. A few stars are also accompanied by a Newton star, which is an ultra-dense remnant of a once massive star, indicating that the detected system is just one step short of becoming a double neutron star system that would eventually merge, according to the new study. To arrive at their conclusions, the researchers used data about the brightness of millions of stars collected by the swift ultraviolet optical telescope. Then using the Magellan telescopes at Carangio's last campanus observatory in the Chile, the team narrowed the list of candidates to 25 stars which showed unusual UV emissions hitting at tight hydrogen envelopes. While only 25 stars of this missing population have been found so far, these stars have always been there and there are probably many more out there, said Goodbach. We must simply come up with ways to find them. She added, our work may be one of the first attempts, but there should be other ways possible.